Yo, what's up guys? All Game of Shame back with another video. And today in this video I have a little bit of Infinite Warfare and it's going to be some gameplay and I'm just going to be talking about why I think this game is going to be one of the best, not the best, but probably up there with the best games in Call of Duty history. So, real quick, I'm sorry that I didn't upload two days for two days because my friend actually came over home with me after school and he just we just kind of hanged out hung out sorry grammar and correct correction uh kind of hung out and just chilled and other stuff and so i didn't get to upload then and uh that's basically it so now i'm bringing you this gameplay and i'm recording i'm recording my audio of why i think it's going to be one of the best games and tomorrow I'm going to try to get a Deatomanizer nuke out uh, strike because I finally got the legendary version of this gun, the MV4. So I'm going to try to get some Deatomanizer strike, a Deatomanizer strike, just one, and just upload it so you guys can see it and see what is going on and stuff. So let's actually get into it. So as you, as you all know, if you guys have played the beta, the closed beta or the open beta or both that the movement system is same in black ops 3 and this is where it really comes into play at this movement system in black ops 3 we all liked it we didn't like that double jump or any of that we liked the boost a little bit we liked it better than double jump but now we definitely love it in this game because you never use your boost the only reason why you would only use your boost is to get out of cover, like to get up on a, a place or something, or jump out of bullets, like probably not all the time because you're not that fast. Sometimes some people are, but not that much. Sometimes you just get out of the way. People would be using that boost in Black Ops Three just to go off. Just he, they'd be jumping over stuff, killing people, jump jumping in the air so people can't kill them, and like screw the whole system up and all that. And it's it it, it was so aggravating to many people in Black Ops 3. So that's why people hated, well not really hated, but didn't like BO3 as much. And so this basically is only boots on ground, basically. Like, this is only boots on ground. This is what we've been wanting. Boots on ground and a bonus. Boosting. Because you, you never really use your boost. All you're doing is walking around, running around. If you okay, if you're trying to turn this game into Black Ops Three, that is sad. Like I don't, I don't want you to be doing that. That's just messed up. And so actually, I'm kind of sad because I destroyed people in this gameplay, and it made me sad because like I've been telling people, do not. This is why games like this is ruined because you want to already ruin people's experience in the beta by going try hard. And I just didn't, and I feel so bad. So if any of you guys that are in my, were in my game yesterday and are watching my video now, I'm very sorry. So, and also, another reason. They're bringing back old weapons. They brought back the AK-47. We got to see a little bit of that in the beta uh, these past two days. So this today, which is, uh, well, it was yesterday, which is Saturday, and today, which is Sunday. Because a couple hours ago it was Saturday, so yeah, it's they let it, they increase the level cap to 35 Saturday, so we can get exclusive access to the Rack Nine, which looks like from uh, looks like something the Super 90 from Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys played that or you've seen me play it, and why? Well, hold up, where am I going with this? I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. But it looks like Super 90 from Rainbow Six Siege, and you get you get it at level 35, and they increase the level clap, so it's kind of cool. And you unlock the AK, which is called the Volk, at level 31. And the Volk is kind of good, aka the AK. Um, it's kind of good, but I think the regular AK is way better. They have the Ripper. The epic version of the RPR o Evo is called the Ripper. It looks exactly like the Ripper, just reloads differently. So. Uh, all that and they're bringing her back ARX 
Advanced Warfare from Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghosts. Originally in Call of Duty Ghosts, brought over in Advanced Warfare. UNP, uh, DMR, and I think the UNP, the DMR, Intervention. I can't forget about the Intervention. That's a fan favorite all over. Uh, and that I can't remember. There's also uh, M1 Grand that's coming. And I can't wait for that. And they bring in, they have a DMR one, which is also under a sniper. So that's why this game is going to be good. It, it's I don't. Hopefully, it does not become a pay to win. There's already supply drops. We see that there's supply drops in this game. But I'm hoping that this will become pay to win. Like so, we have to spend five hundred dollars on. Like rig points, it's called rig points because that's something that they're gonna probably come out with. Rig points, like cod points, rig points. Like, what is that? That's so stupid, I know, right? It's just something in my head. So, we're gonna have to be spending $500 on like rig points and uh, to get like one weapon that's that just wrecks people. So, um, hopefully, it does not come to that. So, Infinity Ward, if, it, if you see this video. Please do not make it a pay to win. So I've been Ogame Shame guys. Uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and comment whether if you think this would be one of the best Call of Duties, because I do. So I'll I'll see you guys later. I've been Ogame Shame. Peace guys.